So, in this video, I am going to explain about Oshd, which is one of the largest renewable energy developers and the company is transforming this business from fossil fuels to do renewable energy to uh, track down the uh, carbon emissions and to become carbon in carbon carbonly neutral by 2025, which is their uh, main aim. If they are on on track to what they are what they are doing now. So briefly explaining about the company. So uh, this company is into uh, into fight fight with climatic changes through renewable energy. It was rated as the most second most uh, sustainable company on the planet. Falling from the overall position only the company is still the most sustainable uh, energy company in the world. A title it has held for three consecutive years. The aims to turn in a sustainable business model to contribute to the fight against climate change. And also parallelly be, parallel be in business and keep on being in profits. Now about the economic viabilities. Uh, so regarding it, the it is a manufacturer, manufacturer of renewable energy in terms of uh, onshore wind energy mainly. They are uh, in the list of leading producers of this, uh, this product like the energy uh, which they are producing. They give the energy to the grids and the, uh, and the energy is transferring the grids to the uh, for domestic uses and then uh, and their top company in terms of sustainability standards so uh, as it is a uh, wind uh, energy company the uh, economic viability is high as they are in uh, green energy and cost of setting up plants is high but after that the economic cost of the company is low in terms of energy but with methods of production the cost is a bit higher from other companies so they produce green energy to various companies at lower prices now coming to the environmental impact. So this company wants to reduce the amount of carbon footprint. So it is clear that the uh, the company is uh, environmentally friendly uh, in terms of carbon. They want to shift. They want to shift from uh, fossil fuels to uh, mainly uh, renewable and energies like windmills uh, and solar energy so uh, they produce uh, good quality materials and also follow all energy saving guidelines in, in terms of work they are a big firm so the cost of it is also high and also they, they are motor towards environmental environment and improving towards sustainability and then with uh, factories and production having a higher percentage coming from green energy. Finally, producing green energy to various companies. So not only this company into their into their factories and other things, they, they produce windmills, uh, panels to other companies and help in uh, reducing environmental impact in many aspects. Now comes the part of innovation and technological integrity. Company can have various can have various kinds of innovations like in uh, wind energy so you can have uh, various innovations to increase the amount of uh, energy you are getting per unit time from uh, from the windmills maybe it depends on the uh, wind speed and uh, humidity and other factors but at a constant uh, humidity and wind speed the Losses can be reduced uh, from the windmill and the amount of energy produced can be increased. And in various stages of machines, machines in the factory which make the windmills can also be upgraded. And in the high scale industries, you have a good production and sustainable tools in the factory. And finally, in the factories, innovations with various machines can be done. 
in progress to be done with various machines to reduce manpower, time, and various other factors. So yeah, it's uh, practically, and now it uh, coming to the fe feasibility checks and practicality. So yeah, it is uh, it's practically possible to be 100% green energy uh, in the industry in terms of the green energy usage and also reducing losses by falling various steps in the production line and various other things also the reduction in cost is possible people can invest more in companies and also the changes are easily feasible with a small investment with increasing needs uh, of the company and practically uh, practically it's in track to zero emissions till 2025 so they are aiming to have something they are having a clear vision to do this and they know and the company also knows uh, how to do in uh, all the layers of it so now comes uh, scalability it can be easily scalable with economic investment from small medium to big industry so mainly the reasons are there are there are very, very less companies in this uh, in this uh, sector of work and also uh, wind energy is not constant everywhere so, you know, somewhere it's high somewhere it's low so uh, we have to check for um, places where we can put wind mills and other things and also the uh, thing is that uh, the fossil fuels are risk uh, are at risk so yeah, all the companies are are trying to move to renewable energy and also they want to show in their annual report as they are having a sustainability number or su sustainability standards of, of this much with shifting to green energy so uh, everything is interconnected and companies want to keep on interesting in Green energy and also this company has a very very good so sustainable rating of mine. Uh, it, it can go even better with scalability and decreasing the carbon emissions of the company. Yeah, so coming to the social impact, the company has created a very good social impact towards the products manufacturing and the raw materials they are using by keeping the company operating on a good percentage of green energy at uh, supplying the end products with good strength and uh, other things and creating a personal pattern people being an inspiration for the companies to sustain sustainability as they encourage many companies to strive towards sustainability uh, with With this in mind, that various various companies are moving towards this, and it would be better if these companies also move so that they can have a good rating. And standard. Uh, and finally, they are using wind energy and transferring the energy to the grid to uh, reduce the load on non renewable sources for domestic energy as it is the focus of the company now we come come on to the main part uh, how to uh, implement these the solutions and budget constraints so uh, coming to the solutions this uh, the implementation solutions are very easy and simple that it has to be a good manufacturing technique with best raw materials used to grow the plant and, and then also the with the industry being 100% green and encouraging many other industries to uh, uh, come on to be green and making them making companies aware about the sustainability challenges sustainability rating and the and that there is a investment in, in the start of converting to green energy but after that the maintenance cost and other things are minimal but when you are 
into fossil fuels the rate of fossil fuels are increasing alarmingly and in fossil fuels there is no investment but uh, you have to keep on paying for the fossil fuels so now coming to the budget constraints so being a big firm the budget is budget is there and investment is required for making the windmills and having contracts with the company so the company can manage uh, sustainability with some investment and maintaining good profits so the, now we come to the regulatory complications So uh, this company having their products only into green energies. So the government, uh, the people, the companies, the industries, and the government industries, uh, everyone are keenly looking into uh, this part of uh, energy thing. So. Complications uh, in in that manner are are very less because everyone is interested in their product and everyone knows the value of it and they want you to make it better, better and have a good impact on the society and industries. So there may be some minor complications and may occur, but the thing is that um, it wouldn't hamper the sustainability of the company. The company has a huge demand, and also being a big firm, it it doesn't affect it much and can be worked out. And here uh, we can surely see that the complications may occur, but it is easy to overcome them, and it would be rare for a complication to occur. Yeah. So here's the adaptivity the industry to, to adapt to such conditions as having most reduced carbon emissions and shift to and even energy demand is very high now and, and also the cost of fossil fuels are increasing and the leading companies get profits in this similar level increases. So that was this that was it. Thank you.